ever wondered how ChatGPT seems to know so much? Where does all that information come from? And how is it processed to make those human-like conversations possible? In today's video, we will break down the complete data pipeline behind the ChatGPT. From collecting raw text from the internet to cleaning it, processing it, training the model and deploying it. We will also show you code snippets, tech configurations and architecture diagrams so it is super easy to follow along. Let's get started. Hi there, welcome to Tech and Career Bytes. I'm a software professional with over two decades of experience including seven years in leadership roles at a global product-based organization. So, ready to discuss the data pipeline behind ChatGPT? Let's start with the data collection. The data ChatGPT is trained on comes from multiple sources, public websites, licensed data sets, and APIs and data partnerships. For public websites, tools like Scrapy, Beautiful Soup, and Selenium in Python are used for web scraping. The code snippet you see here scrapes paragraph content from a web page. It's a simple example, but in real world scenarios, you will need to handle things like rate limiting, proxy rotation, and respect for robots.txt to make sure you are scraping only the permitted parts of a website. APIs provide structured data. Here is an example of data collection using a REST API. Next, we need to clean and pre-process this raw text data before it can be used to train the AI models. The steps involved are remove duplicate data and bad data, tokenize text into words or subwords, normalize the text to lower case, remove special characters and filter inappropriate content. Once cleaned, the text data is converted into numerical vectors called embeddings, capturing their meaning. Now, it's time to train the model. This happens in two phases. Generate you pre-training and fine-tuning with human feedback. The configuration shown here enables mixed precision and model sharding for training huge models efficiently. After training, the model is deployed via scalable APIs for a real-time inference. Cloud platforms like AWS, Azure, and GCP host these models. Responses are cached by our CDNs like Cloudflare for speed, serving millions of requests per day demands, scalability, and optimization. Let's discuss a few optimization techniques. In model parallelism, we split model layers across GPUs. Data parallelism splits data batches across workers. Quantization uses lower precision like FP16 for faster inference. Caching pre-computes and stores frequent responses at the API layer. And that is how data flows from the web, gets cleaned, processed, embedded, used to train large models and finally deployed as services like ChatGPT. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting tech topics. Do check out our other videos on software performance optimization case studies, coding, system design, big data and career growth. My name is Rupa and I thank you so much for watching this video. See you next time.